Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adam, this is Adam Sews, and this is a very, very late Friday Sews due to having a new job. So I just wanted to say a big hello to anyone that's new here. Um, hello to all my subscribers. Thank you for joining me again for another Friday Sews. Um, this week's been a bit of a boring week. I've worked non-stop all week and I've barely had any time to do anything in this room, which is quite depressing, but that's life. So on, so happens, so this, that and the other. Um, so I did manage to get one thing done, um, which was the Lily Ella Moth Charm Block. Um, I took this as an opportunity to test out my BSR on my new Benina, um, which is a Benina stitch regulator. Um, and for any of you that don't know what a Benina stitch regulator is, it's basically this tiny little foot, which I can actually show you because it's up here. Um, it's a digitised free motion quilting foot. Um, so as you... So it comes in this little tin. So this is the foot here, and it plugs in like a headphone jack on the bottom of the machine. Um, so basically what it does is as you move the fabric that you're quilting underneath the machine, the faster you move it, the faster the foot tells the machine to stitch. So you end up with much more even stitches between each time that it creates a stitch. Um, so I wanted to test that out. So I made the Liliella Moth Charm Block, um, which I will link below. These are a free pattern and they come with four different types of moth for that pattern, which are these ones here. Um, so I will link for that below. Um, I actually blew the pattern up by 150% because I wanted it slightly bigger um, because they are quite small. I think they finish up at five inch, uh, five inch, 5.5 inch after piece and it can be used as a five inch or four and a half inch finished square. So I wanted it a bit bigger because I wanted it as a focal point for a cushion for my sewing chair. So I made this one, which is made from Tudor Pink fabrics. So as you can see, the moth is in the centre there and I just did a stipple stitch with the BSR um, just to kind of get my head around it really. Um, so I now have a little cushion to sit on the back of my sewing chair just to give me a little bit of back support. So besides that, I didn't get any sewing done this week. Um, I did, however, last weekend, after filming my very late Friday episodes last week, I did, however, make myself a pressing mat, pressing board. This is made from some Alice in Wonderland canvas, some plywood, and some a few layers of um, offcuts of batting and some really thick wool that I had as well. Um, so that has just made life so much easier for pressing any seams on quilt blocks, especially when I was doing the moth. The other thing that I got this week is I did get some more of, I got a couple of metres of tulip pink fabric, which one of them is the little clouds in the orange ombre. Um, and I also got the same little uh, fluffy little clouds design in the lime and blue um, and I have actually ordered some more that was on a big D stash um, from Helen from Stitch Rip Repeat, which I will link her channel down below. Um, so she said to me that she's going to be posting that out this week. So I should get it for my next Friday sews, hopefully. So if I do, I will let you in on a little preview of my haul for that. Um, the other thing that I got this week was some French terry fabrics from... Um, Fabrics by Penny Community Group on Facebook. I got the Harry Potter um, style one for myself, which is um, the newspaper background um, with the Dementors and different things on there as well. Um, that I'm going to make myself another sweatshirt for because my one that I've got up says I've worn to death and it's already starting to show signs of wear um so i will make a fresh one with that and i got some of the batman and joker french terry for my nephew which is this one here which has got batman and joker on it so that will make my nephew a nice sweatshirt hopefully i also got some of the made by poppy 
jerseys one of them this one's not made by poppy i apologize um this is just a unknown brand i think this is sausage dogs and this one is made by poppy which is sausage dogs as well and i got this for a dear friend of mine that has got three daxons and i thought i'd make her a couple of t-shirts so that is it for this week really not really much has happened i will be posting an update um throughout the week hopefully it won't be late next week and hopefully it will be on friday um and i've also got something coming up on tuesday um in regards to a interview um with another quarter on youtube which i'm really excited about and i was really grateful for being asked to be part of that so i will pop a link up on my community tab for that when it goes up on tuesday so have a great weekend everyone sorry i've not been about much at the moment but I will be giving you a bit more content soon. Have a great weekend. Happy sewing. Bye.